Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today I want to talk about how to make your own DIY uh, sharpness tester. So what do I mean by that? So I've got myself uh, a bunch of knives that we have not sharpened in a very long time. So we use these all the time, uh, pretty much daily for kitchen work and they've dulled themselves over the years and we've never really gotten them sharpened. In fact, you can kind of see this knife it doesn't cut paper. Well, see, that more like tore the paper than anything. You can feel it. This knife is not sharp. And what I actually did recently is I got a uh, knife sharpener, but before I actually run all of these knives through the knife sharpener, what I want to do is I want to uh, actually measure how sharp is this blade before and after I do the process. So um, I'm a bit of an engineer and a nerd, so I like that kind of data. Now, you can buy actually actual uh, sharpness testing systems. So for example, here's one right here. I'll flash a screenshot of it. You can buy these things. And um, while I understand that they work pretty well, uh, you know, the engineer in me started looking at this thing and I saw this is not that complicated. And in fact, look at this. If you want to buy this thing new and get a nice uh, all-in-one package, look at that. It's $250 for that unit and a, a couple of test samples. And looking at that thing, that really it looks nothing more than a kitchen scale. I'm pretty convinced all that thing is, is it's, it's basically a kitchen scale with a little bit of a, they call it a fulcrum, where you can put the tip of the knife down and then just push down and all that tester does is it basically has this knife cutting through a little piece of uh, aluminum wire or steel wire and it's just measuring how much force does it take to push the knife through that wire. So I thought, you know what? That thing is really easy. I bet I can make something like that. So I can basically, instead of spending $250 to buy that unit, I am going to go buy myself. In fact, I had this thing lying around. I've got a little kitchen scale, right, that I use for other sort of measuring where it obviously can measure the amount of force that is applied to the top of this. So I thought, you know what, why don't I just go ahead and I'm going to buy just the test clips. So you can buy a pack of these test clips. And again, all this test clip is, I'll show you, it's really simple. It's, it's a little wire here. And all that's going to happen is that this knife needs to go down and try to cut through the wire. We're going to measure how much force does it take for that to happen. So by basically taking this kitchen scale, I'm going to go ahead and 3D print myself a little holder. So this holder is going to sit on top of this kitchen scale like that. Then it's got a little slot up here, which is the exact right size for this clip. So this test media or this test coupon can go right inside just like that. And now I can measure how much force does it take to call, uh, to, to cut through this. And again, I just also 3D printed myself this little fulcrum. So the idea is, you're going to put this like that, right? And now you put the tip of the knife over here and I've measured this and I've designed this so that the knife comes down directly vertically on the test fixture and the test uh, article, okay? So this whole setup, I mean, that little scale cost me, you know, anywhere between five and $10. And this is about $2 worth of 3D printing. So I like this a lot better um, than spending $250 on that tester. Um, yeah, these clips, I, I bought a bag of a hundred of these test articles for about $30. So all in, I think you're, you're less than, you know, we're around 40, $50 or something like this for this, for this entire setup. So let me show you how this works and, uh, we'll go ahead and get some data. All right, so let's go ahead and give this a try. So I've got my scale set up with my holder and my test article. So first things first, let's turn on the scale. Make sure that this guy is zeroed out at zero grams of force. Okay, it is. Now I'm going to go ahead and get myself my knife fulcrum part. So again, I made this and 3D printed it so that it could position for various different size knives. But the idea is I just want to make sure that I get the blade coming down pretty much directly vertical and trying to cut this. So let's go ahead and do this now. And I am now going to press down and I'm gonna watch the scale and see how much force does it take to cut this. So here we are, we're at 40, oh, went up to 100, 170, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. Oh my gosh, this is a really dull knife. 700, ooh, okay, that was like about 630 grams. So 
This is one deficiency of this setup is you can see that the numbers don't hold at the maximum value. So you kind of have to watch this um, very closely as you're cutting. So let's call that 630 as the first number. Now let's do this again multiple times just to get an average and make sure that we're about in the same ballpark. So again, let's go ahead and take the knife. I'll put a new test article in and now let's go ahead and do the same thing. Let's go ahead and press. So now we're in the 200s, 300s, 400s, 500s, 630, ooh, now it's 700, 800, oh gosh, 900, 1100, 1200, 13, 13, 1400. Boy, so I don't know if different parts of this knife are differently sharp, but now we've got two numbers of 630 and then 1400. That wasn't so great. So let's do one more just to kind of get a wide range of numbers and see if we can get a better idea. Okay. So here we go. Now let's do it again. Press thing down. Seven, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, uh, 1,000, 1,100. Okay, 1,100. So long story short, we got a kind of a large range of numbers, but we got a rough idea. Let's now go ahead and sharpen this guy and see if that changes anything. So I've got a completely separate other dedicated video talking about this knife sharpening tool. It's a Chef's Choice Model 15 and it works pretty great, but I'll leave most of the details in that separate video. All we want to show here is that I am sharpening the knife and we're going to see if that makes any difference. All right, so now that I sharpened it, the blade definitely feels a lot better and you can for sure see it here in paper. Look at that, that cuts it nice and cleanly. Whoopsie, that was a little bit my fault here, but you can see that yeah, it feels a lot better. So now let's go ahead and put it through the sharpness tester and see what the number comes out to be. All right, so let's see if this is actually sharper and see if we can quantify this using our DIY uh, sharpness tester. So again, let me put the test article in. Let's get the knife up here and I'll rest it on the blade. And look at this. Okay, now we're here at 100. Uh, whoa, 150 and it cut. So this is way better. That was only 150 grams of force to cut this first article. Let's go ahead and make another test here. And here we are, so I'm gonna push. Wow, I think I went too quick there. That only looked like 50 there. I don't know if I trust that number. Let's, let's get one more and we'll set this up nice and cleanly. Okay, so put it here in the fulcrum. I'm gonna be very careful now and start slowly. 60, 70, 80, 110. I saw 110. So yes, this is feeling a lot better. And as you can see, this little setup is, is definitely working. So um, again, uh, this whole setup is not very expensive. Um, the most expensive part of this was really just buying these test clips, $30 here, about you know, I don't know, 10 to $15 worth of material for the scale and the 3D printing parts. If you're interested in any of these parts, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description of this video to a place where you can download all of these um, uh, solid CAD models in case you want to print them yourself. But there you have it. This is a quick and easy way to make yourself a little sharpness tester for uh, your home use. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if so, I also hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. It really does help me continue making these videos. And remember the new video Videos come out every Monday, so I hope we'll be able to catch you at one of these future discussions and we can all learn something new together. So until then, I think I'm going to sign off. Talk to you later. Bye.